Hi, I'm Justin Pritchard, and this is the Polaris Slingshot. Now, I'm a car reviewer, and this is definitely not exactly a car, but I have been driving it the past couple of days, and I have noticed a couple of important details that you might find interesting if you're considering one. So let's take a closer look. Right, so getting in and out, it's just like getting into a little sports car. Now watch my left foot. You have to kind of twist that to clear that piece of the uh, tube chassis. Otherwise, it's uh, just like getting into a small car. Great shifter. We'll talk a bit more about that later. Now the fit and finish in here is very much uh, like a power toy, a, you know, a side-by-side, -side, a quad or a bike. More than like a car. It's all heavy duty and waterproof and weatherproof right down to these little buttons here on the stereo console. Because uh, of course the slingshot doesn't have a roof. So if you get uh, some water in here, if it rains on you while you're parked outside, nothing is going to get zapped out. And let's talk visibility this is kind of a big deal for this thing it's very tall behind you you sit deep inside of it so visibility out the rear as you can see not particularly great that makes setting up those mirrors properly very important driver side lane change check not a big deal passenger side a little bit sort of trickier again you've got to really have those mirrors set up perfectly in this thing here's the backup camera it's fine in the evening like you're seeing here problem is in the daytime the sunlight just washes that screen out difficult to see maybe a little bit of design oversight here Let's talk about the seats. They're kind of a plastic covered foam. Um, a lot of give to them. They're fairly soft, easy to accept a variety of different sizes and shapes of passengers. They're more comfortable than I thought. Just keep in mind that because they're weatherproof, they don't breathe. So if it's hot out while you're driving, you will have Niagara Falls level back perspiration. And this shifter is just like really good. Five speed manual, nice slick short throw on it. The clutch has a good bite, but it's forgiving in traffic. Doesn't feel like it's made out of pancake batter. Bang right on. Seats are adjustable, at least moderately. It's not a huge slide on this thing, couple of inches. If you're particularly short or tall, you might have some trouble. Average size folks, not so much. Tilt steering on this, it doesn't telescope, it does tilt. If I could find the lever here. And the instruments go up and down with the steering wheel too to make sure you've always got a good view of them as well. If you've got things, you need a place to put them. Here's a place to put them right back here behind each seat. is a lockable weatherproof storage bin. Enough room for a gym bag or maybe a couple of bags of groceries, a few little knickknacks and so on. Show you what it looks like with... Uh, with some stuff in them over here on the other side. Now one thing to keep in mind, watch your head when you're sliding those four. They, oh, there we go, almost hit you in the side of the head. You gotta reach down deep and grab those. Room in there for your helmet, water bottle, a couple of other little knickknacks or whatever you might be bringing along for the ride. There's no trunk, this does help compensate. And you've also got a uh, lockable glove box as well, the USB charging port. This is good for your hat, your uh, sunglasses, your wallet, things like that. There is a 12-volt power outlet in there to keep your gizmos juiced up on the go as well. All right, so headlights, you'll see them switch from low beam to high beam here in a moment. There we go. Um, I've bumped the iris on the camera to give you a little better image of what these look like. Uh, the light's fairly powerful, but it just kind of stays right in front of the vehicle. doesn't reach all that far. Not a lot of uh, fantastic peripheral illumination here. If you're someone out and about after dark a fair bit, um, Polaris will sell you some additional uh, lighting provisions, which I would highly recommend. Well, thanks for watching. I will put a link in the description below to a full photo gallery on the Polaris Slingshot if you want to see it in some more detail as well. Check out my website, www.justinpritchard.ca, for some more information. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.